Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. And guess what, guys? I have been, actually we have been invited for the new seeding of the Mavericks updates. Believe it or not, Mavericks has been out for, I believe, no more than two months. And Apple already has a major update. It's going to be 10.9.1. Uh, 10.9.1, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I received the invitation uh, about 22 hours ago, as you can see on the screen. And uh, I accepted the invitation. And a couple hours later, I received another email stating that the build was ready. Build 13B27 was ready to be downloaded. Now, as always, I always like to tell you guys that best practice is to back up your information again this is only for testing purposes if you guys are using Merrick's the build version the seeding version for production wise please back up your stuff because you never know with these up major updates you never know what will happen to your hard drive or your information so back up your stuff for me I partitioned my laptop so I have two. I have one hard drive which is split into two. So I don't really care what happens to the secondary partition because it's my testing one, right? So uh, it basically wants you to download the software update uh, C configuration utility, which I already did. Uh, I downloaded it and already installed. Very straightforward. Uh, not too not too complicated to install. So it's really straightforward. But um, this major update, this 10.9.1, is actually focused in three areas. It's focused on the mail, graphics drivers, and as well as voiceover, as you can see right here. This information, that, this information that you guys actually see, I'm gonna post it up in my blog site so you guys could check it out or what's going on. Uh, I actually took the initiative and already updated my version. So about this. Uh, version 10.9.1 and the build 13b27 now to actually get this build to work you actually have to have either uh, 13a 59a 8 actually and or 13a 603 now 13a 603 was the free version of Marix that was pushed out for everyone at the app store uh, 13a 59a was actually the last version for the developers seeding portal to have so that's what I had uh, everything went smooth no problem I think the size of the update is between 15 to 25 megabytes it's not that huge it's not like a gig size uh, so the deployment time shouldn't take no more than five to ten minutes depending on your internet speed but it went really smooth uh, I don't really use some of these features as mail graphics driver and voiceover the mail version I do use it because I have my Google Apps uh, installed configured to it to receive my my email but I have to see if anything has changed. Um, I'm wondering what you guys think about the whole 10.9.1. Uh, is it something that you already expected from Apple? Again, this is pretty surprising. Uh, I think they should have focused on other areas other than this three. But from my understanding, on the internet forums, you know, a lot of Mac sites, a lot of people have been complaining about the mail and the graphics driver as well as the voiceover. So. I think they should have focused a little bit more with other applications, but that's me. I want I'm, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, leave your comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button before you go, and I catch you guys on the next Mac update. Peace out.